Hey, what's up everybody? JP here. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to turn the uh, dash of your Jeep JK from this into this. Using this. Oh no! Where did you come from? That's more like it. All right, this is the Vector Off-Road JKE uh, dash dock. So let's go install it, see how easy it is. All right, here we go. Got the uh, dash dock. And uh, just a uh, few items that you're going to need to get this uh, installed. All right, you're going to need an Allen key, flathead screwdriver, and seven millimeter uh, nut driver, and included hardware. All right, so I got the two spacers and these are the two bolts and the washer. So let's install this thing. All right, so the first step is that on both sides of the dash, on the driver's side and the passenger side, there's these little plastic tabs covering where the uh, um, spacer is going to go. So that's where you're going to use your flathead screwdriver. There's a little tab in here. Get your screwdriver in there, give a little pop. Pop that out. And then right in here is where the spacer is going to go. So there's a little screw right there. All right. So you're gonna take your spacer. You're gonna find that spot and just twist it on down. You're gonna just twist it down until you feel it firmly seat in place. All right, so that's that side. All right, we're gonna go do the other side. All right, we're on the passenger side. Same thing, you're gonna go with this tab here. Just get your uh, flathead screwdriver in there and just give it a little pop. There we go. Same thing, take your spacer, find the screw threads and screw it on down. Put seat firmly in place and there we go all right so that's driver side and passenger side all in about a minute and a half all right next step is under the top of the dash you just got to pull up this um, little tray piece it pops right out just like that and then there's that little seven millimeter uh, screw so we're going to loosen that up and make sure you save that because you need that for uh, the install part all right all right so we got the uh, driver side spacer in passenger side spacer in we got the uh, the little screw out of the center piece right here which we need for when we do the install all right so now we're going to put the uh, the vector dock in place just like so like that now you need that those two bolts that came with it with the washers and they're each just gonna go right through here all 
I'm just gonna put it in loosely until I get the center piece in. All right, let's go to the other side. All right, I got the passenger side. So I left, I left it both loose, both sides loose for now. I'm gonna secure the uh, the center, and I got my uh, screw that we took out from before. So I'm gonna go back to the other side. All right, I'm back. Got that nice and tight. Now I'm going to tighten up the uh, driver's side and the passenger side. So this is the uh, the ram bar clamp mount. So it's for a one inch bar, but then also included along with, they give you an Allen wrench, of course the bolts, the nuts, and then the two halves of the clamp. But then they also give you this little guy here. It's a little uh, spacer, so you can wedge those in there. If you got a really tiny bar. And then, uh, this allows you to just use this over a greater size of bar. So that's pretty cool. Alright, so we're going to put this on the bar. Alright, so I'm going to put the uh, bar clamp here. I usually keep my cell phone on the left side, so um, that's where I'm going to keep it. So you got your, two, your front half with the wall, your two bolts, and then your back half. Put the uh, two nuts in there. And same thing, just be careful so you don't you don't want your uh, bolts to go into your vents. So I'm actually keeping my fingers on the back of the uh, where the uh, nuts are so that way they don't push through and we're just going to tighten and I'm just going to alternate top and bottom just so we get nice and even it over. I kind of like it right here on the end I'm going to give it a little tilt rather than be down here it might be easier to put the arm on right there and then the great thing is that this is fully adjustable, so if I don't like this spot, I can change it. Or I can leave this here, get another one, add something else, move it over here, and then leave this here for maybe like a North Road GPS unit or um, something else that we want to use. All right, so it's the X grip that I got with the extension arm, and it actually comes with like a little rubber thingy. Not really sure what that does. I gotta figure that out. Alright. Alright. Simple. I can't really show you what my cell phone looks in like it because my cell phone's right there. Alright, I'm gonna put the other attachments over there. Alright, so this is a ball with the screw thread. Little mini. Actually, I might mount it here. We'll see how that works. Alright, first issue. Can't get it underneath. Alright. 
Stand by. Loosey goosey. In business. Alright, I got the little mini ball in there. Gotta loosen this guy up. Do one of these like so, nice and tidy. And then, hey, look at that. Yeah, loosen that again. Find out which way. Look at that. Good. So now, got a place to mount the GoPro if we want to film while we're uh, off-roading. And then it's easily just take it off when not in use and just leave it in place. Thanks for watching. So that was uh, install of the Vector Off-Road JKE uh, dock for your Jeep Wrangler. Fits obviously your JK or JKU. Um, I bought it directly from their website, VectorOffRoad.com. I'm gonna I'm gonna link their website in the bio below. Uh, I also link the um, the mounts that I got for it from uh, Ram, I bought those on Amazon, so I'll link those as well as some of the other mounts. I'm probably going to order down the line just to add some other stuff to the dock. But so overall feelings, installation was super easy. It was literally less than five minutes if I wasn't uh, filming and going back and forth with setting up cameras and stuff. Um, one thing, there was no instructions, but having gone onto their website kind of saw how it was installed so uh, it was pretty easy to figure out it's only really three steps so you can't really mess it up <laughs> um, as far as construction I'd say it's top-notch it's uh, powder coated with a uh, black rough finish which I like matches the dash which is cool um, they do offer an option to have it sent to you unfinished so you can um, color match if you want do your own power coating whatever you want to do and I think they uh, said on email that was like ten dollars less um, so I think I paid I think it was like one hundred thirty nine dollars I'll put the price down below I think it was like a hundred thirty nine one hundred forty nine it was under hundred and fifty dollars um, so I well, think it's worth it don't have to like glue things or drill into the dash to put your mounts or suction cup them all over your windshield. Um, so if you're doing a lot of off-roading and you have a lot of uh, devices that you want to keep near your dash, definitely uh, I think it's the way to go. So give it uh, two thumbs up. Just easy install, great product, and uh, just the versatility of allowing you to add lots of stuff. All right. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any comments or questions about the install or anything about this, uh, put a comment down below. Hit the subscribe button. Um, we're doing some more upgrades to the Jeep. Got a few other projects in the works. And uh, hopefully, if it starts getting a little warmer, I can start working on the trailer again. Um, that's still under a whole bunch of tarps. So it's still been too cold to work on it on the outside. So, all right. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Oh, oh.